Right. Then, Puppy Derby final. Um, as you, as you uh, will probably note from the uh, from the screen behind me, which hopefully we can show, this is obviously in honour of the kennel. A uh, a certain rising brandy for any of you who do, do wouldn't recognise him. And uh, I was just wondering, Matt, because uh, you'd won it, you won the race previously, Odd Male Champ, yeah. Yeah, yeah, won it twice, yeah. Yeah. Can you remember who was second and third to Rising Brandy in the final three years ago? Yeah, Drew Peter Verve and Brinkley's Poet. They were hell of a final, wasn't it? It was a great final, cracking final. I mean, I was at the pick up there and um, I was at the pick up there and I, I couldn't believe I won the race so well. And then when you sort of look back through the form, you've got Brinkley's Poet that broke two track records, won the select stakes and won Jim Crack. You've also got Jubilee's birth that ended up in the Derby final and God knows won what else. So, yeah, yeah um, it just shows the calibre of the dogs that go for the Mongol Puppy Derby. I mean, it's a real prestigious puppy race. I mean, you buy dogs for it, you aim for it. Um, usually it's a month later in the calendar. Um, so it's probably caught a few few trainers out. I mean, I was speaking to John Mullins and I think he's needed a few more runs. Um, same with a lot of them, really. But... Um, it always produced top class, top class performance, and it's it's their dogs that you want to follow through their career. So yeah, so it's, it's great to be in the final. You're, you're going to have a, a special interest as well, obviously, the fact that this is out of the way, Shelley. Yeah, she was a cracking bitch for us. Won the Brighton Bell. She got to the final, allowed the stakes for us. Um, just a good, genuine early pace. Um, so um, and. Every race, she, she, she tried her heart out, and um, we looked after, went back for breathing, and this is the first litter. Uh, there's other, there's another two two litters on the ground. Um, I've got another two out of Romeo Recruit, and then there's another another litter by uh, Magical Bale as well. So um, I'm hoping that if she's producing the first litter, this dog, then I hope she'll produce throughout her, throughout her litters. Yeah, where, where is she in Ireland? Presumably she's in Ireland, is she? Yeah, she's based in Cork with um, Kieran O'Brien, and uh, he only keeps a couple of brew bitches. He he works them down. He keeps them at his place for about three months. Um, I was over probably um, this time last year, actually looking at the new ones and 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 this litter actually. Um, so he has them for three months, and they're reared on by Michael Butler, and he's down at uh, Cashelwood. He's there. So um, yeah, we had, I had a good old um, good trip down there, really, just a. So the day trip flew into Cork and um, saw the little ones and then saw, saw the, this litter as well and then come back again on the same day. So real worth going over there. Is there, is there much else in the litter, do we know? Um, I've got another one. I've got another few, actually. Um, I've got another one called I.I. Shelley and she's running through the grades at, um, at Central Park. I think she'll be decent over six feet when I step her up. Um, there's another one that I trained for 181 for me at Central Park. She's now gone to Ron for the one of the last, last two um, called Coco Rioca. Um, so she's won the last two, A2, A1. Um, so she, she, I think she'll be a decent over-race bitch come the summer. I think she just needs a bit more time. The central part was a bit too far. Um, and then, yeah, that's, 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 that's the couple that, 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 of, of to know. Really. And how do you think the draws worked out? Obviously, a middle seed in, in the six. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I think it will soon be come out of trap six in the in the semi-final. I like to see dogs go back in the boxes. Um, so it's back into trap six. So it's qualified out of six or one out of six, sorry. And now he's back in the same box again. Um, I think it suits his style of running. I think he lacks a yard of early. Um, and then round the bend, he runs a clever, clever first, first, second bend, sort of keeps himself to himself, stays out of trouble, and then shows his pace from the second to the second bend down the back straight, coming home. That's his style of running. Um, which is typical of Sparta, Sparta Maestros, really. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I don't know, Mark, what do you reckon? You, you must have looked at the race. Yeah, I have. And it's, um, you know, always Rising Brandy was probably the, the, the I love that dog. You know, a privilege to see, see him at the kennel. I thought the dog had everything. It was desperately unlucky in, in the uh, derby, you know, going. Um, uh, was coming off with a little bit of a niggle after the quarterfinal, after winning quite handsomely, he just loved his style of running, and uh, he, um, yeah, that was a, that was a great event. So, I, I, 
as, as Matt says, it always seems to breed, uh, you know, breed top dogs coming out of this, probably more so than the puppy derby itself, obviously different times of the year. And um, we, with Danny D, he's going to get um, 20 pound of my uh, remaining money, please, uh, Mr. Floyd. And what I like about him in his, uh, in his, the first round in this, he was clever from five. He, he could see that there might be a little bit of trouble on the inside. Uh, he likes to use the camera at the bend, and he just moved wide to make sure that he wasn't going to get in any trouble. Joker face down the back straight. Um, you know, he, he's got trap six, which is, which is ideal. He's, he looks like one of those dogs, um, a little bit like Mr. Brentford we've got. You know, he, he will look after himself. He'll move wide. He loves to use the width of the bends and drive down that back straight, and he'll come home, come home strong. And uh, I think he's very good value at his price. You know, lots being said about Bocco's belly. I was at uh, Central Park the night. He did that phenomenal run and then, then uh, ran, ran across the track, losing sight of the hair afterwards. He's probably never quite um, so far re uh, recreated that sort of form. And uh, you, you've got to look at the, the quality of Jaguar Macy as well. Um, he's another one who's impressed. But I think Danny D at the price is, is really good value. Mm -hmm. And what a story it would be, you know, Lee Westwood involved on, on the back of Girl and Price uh, being involved. So we've got two sportsmen in the industry, uh, in the sport, Floyd, you know, at the top of their profession themselves. It's great to have some big names there. Um, good work this week um, by the post getting, the, uh, you know, speaking to Andrea and, uh, and Lee Westwood as well. You know, and together with all the great stories you do, Floyd, you know, this is this is what we need more of. So, mm -hmm. from a sentimental point of view, um, not just because I'm involved for, with with the kennel, but for the fact that it would be a bonus for the sport. Um, you know, getting uh, getting another win for or a hat trick of wins for for Matt on Saturday night, I think would be uh, a wonderful advert. And uh, you know, the more more big names we bring into this uh, this sport, the better. Definitely so. And I'm sure that you will have studied the race, Charlie, as much as anybody. He's a yeah. nice big 34 kilo dog. What yeah. You... Um, well, I've had 10 pound each way on him. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think compared to the others in the race, he's very, very lightly raced and he's improving at, at trapping and staying as it, um, with every run. Yeah. And I think, um, I think two's got a great draw. But four can flash out and could be coming across him. So um, yeah, I think he, I think he's got a great draw again this week. So that would be my selection. I just um, just to sort of conclude on the particular race. I was looking at the betting, and from the top, it's seven to two, seven to two, ten, seven to two, six to one, nine to two. There can't be many puppy derbies that have been no. uh, really very very close. So, uh, so fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed that they all come off sound.